Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, we're doing a little bit of a double whammy because we like to double it up here, don't we? So I'm going to be reviewing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation and I think I've got a pretty good colour match there. It might be a little bit dark, but as you all know, ordering foundations and concealers online is a bitch. And I'm also reviewing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set. I'm trying to work out the glitter is actually on the packaging, not in the liquid, which I was a little bit upset about. But to cut a long story short, there was a deal if you got both of these that was like, buy this, get this one free. And then you could get a brush. If you got a brush in it as well, you could add a brush for a fiver. So I added the brush. And then because it had gone over £50, you then got a free mascara. So I've got a mascara as well. Um, it ended up a really good deal, so yes, I have obviously done my brows, and also, something I'm very excited about is I'm going to be using a virgin fucking sponge, which is, there's nothing better than that feeling of a new sponge before you've ruined it, is there? Oh, I forgot to say, if you're new here, my name is Rupert, and I do post free beauty related videos a week, that is on a Tuesday, a Thursday, and a Sunday, however, this week is... Nuts. Basically, I took a little hiatus. Um, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll get that in a minute. No, I won't. Um, yeah, I took a little tiny break. I thought it was going to end up being two weeks. It ended up literally not being that at all. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go straight in. I'm just going to pump a few pumps onto here. Well, let's start with two and a half because I don't know what the coverage is going to be like. I don't even know. Does it say what it's meant to be? It doesn't say, actually, the coverage if it's going to be full medium so yeah there's no smell which <laughs> if you're a regular here you know it's a huge thing when i'm looking at buying a foundation i hate odored foundations i just don't get it like you can create one without an odor why the fuck are they coming out smelling like pain i don't get it it's 2020 people sort it out that's a really good match to my skin. Is it? In real life, it looks slightly yellow, but like, maybe like, I keep thinking I'm getting one with pink undertones. Maybe I don't have pink undertones. I don't know. Um. Okay, one sec. Let me just carry off this on down my neck. Uh, also, because it is a new sponge, it always like a lot of the first couple of pumps obviously just goes into the sponge, doesn't it? So let's just try another couple of pumps. That's going to be... Okay, so here's the thing. This is going to be five pumps of foundation now, which I would always only use two. It is a new sponge, so some of it will have soaked into that. So that is something to keep in mind. I don't think that's necessarily the foundation's fault, but I just want it to be slightly more coverage. I'd say it's more of a light to medium coverage, would you say? Or no, maybe, like, that's not really fair. Let's say medium coverage. I just like to be cake covered, so... <laughs> I have an unfair. That looks really good. It's a luminous foundation. I think I mentioned that already. I just think that's giving me like a really... Look at that. Like, because I've got the sunlight coming in as well, reflecting off me. Like, is that not just the, like... It already looks like I've got a highlighter on. I think I'm really happy with that. Um, I was concerned because, obviously, you know Anastasia Beverly Hills. Their shit isn't cheap. Um... And if the colour didn't match, I've got, a, I've got a foundation stick from them in the shade Honey, which I used to wear, and now when I put it on, I'm like, it's literally so, so orange on me. But I think this is a pretty good match. Like, I would go out like this, no problem at all. Right, okay. Um, so, yeah, that's actually, this is going to be a very short video, but there's going to be, like, I think probably four or five really short videos this week. But, yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go do the rest of my face. I'll be back to set it, and we can discuss how it looks. Okay, so I've done the rest of my face makeup, so I'm just going to go and give this a set, and then what I'll do is I'll go do my eyes and lips off camera, and I'll be back to discuss my verdict with you guys. Okay, so let's just see what it does. Hmm. Um, it smells like coconut. It smells really, really nice and summery. Um... It'll be interesting to see how this looks when it dries, but I will say, I look... I don't know, do you feel I'm watching on a little screen, you might be watching on a laptop, but I feel like I look almost porcelain doll-like, so smooth, so airbrushed, like, glowy. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm gonna go do the rest of my face, and I'll be back to 
having a little bit of a verdict update chat with you. I'm also wearing the Jeffree Star highlighter, which is not really showing on camera, but it is so blinding in real life. Like it's literally reflecting the light off my face. Anyhow, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I've done the rest of my face. Um, what do you think of the lip? I never, ever, ever wear pink lipsticks, but like, if it wasn't with this eye, I would love it, but I think it needs to be with more of like a blue or a coloured eyeshadow than a grey browny one. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below what you think. So my verdict on the products used. So I think this foundation looks so, so good. I'm more of a matte foundation guy nowadays, but this one, honestly, I'm not mad at it. I think it looks really, really good and it makes my skin look really healthy. Um, the only thing I would like is slightly better coverage, but that being said, with five pumps it did, and that is a lot of pumps. I think that was because it was a new sponge and actually you can build it up. So yes, I love the foundation. Super happy with that. Um, the setting spray. It did the job. It did blend the skin. It does, it has got a healthy glow. It looks good. Uh, did it, I think it's like 20 pounds. Is it worth 20 pounds? I honestly think one of the like five pounds ones from Revolution probably does just a good a job. Um, I don't just like it. I don't, I just don't, I'm questioning whether or not it was worth the money and I don't think it was personally. Um, it's still good. I'll still use it. Like, Yes, yes, um, but like, yeah, I just don't think for that price, Braga, it's worth that price. But in the bundle, it was obviously worth it completely. It's not a bad product. I just don't think it's worth £20. Um, anyhow, I think that's everything. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell, which is down here. Or there's a little watermark over here somewhere. And that will make sure you're updated every time one of my new videos comes out. Also, if you did enjoy today's video, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up, as that really does help me out. I'll see you all in a few days' time. I thought that there was something else coming then, but there's nothing else. I love you all so much, and I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye.